Here we go. Good day. Thank you for tuning in. This is now my official day six. Uh, I was outside today. I made a video. Um, I'll upload it maybe later on. I already had it up for a, for a short time, but I was like, nah, this is kind of super shaky and whatever. I was not very happy with it. But on the other hand, I don't really care. So might as well just upload it again. Um, what I wanted to talk about today is I talked about it before, but I will go in depth today is about the function of the lungs, but not the direct function of how they work and how the whole thing works, but the importance of actually bringing oxygen into your system and adaptation, like being able to adapt yourself when a situation changes. So, um, for example, we have a pandemic, uh, going global or it is fucking, it is already global since a long time. I would say already since beginning of January, the first cases started to emerge all over the place, but nobody really knew it. That's what I think. And World Health Organization <laughs> called it a pandemic, like what, a couple of two weeks ago for the first, or a week ago for the first time. Like, yeah, I think it's a pandemic. Yeah. Welcome to the club, geniuses. <laughs> Whoever's been following this from day one actually knew it from the beginning. So, uh, or had the eyes on it, it was like kind of, you know, like, how do you call this? Google eyeing it. I don't want to. I don't want to start making um, uh, ads for Google. You know, not for Google. Maybe for other browsers, but not for Google. But uh, <laughs> I'm joking. I'm sorry. So I wanted to talk now about um, adapting to the situation at hand. So while I was outside, I was walking around, and I realized, God damn, you know, in the beginning of March, at the northern hemisphere. Plants are starting to go crazy because summertime is coming. So spring, you know, so that's fucking good. So we can actually uh, redirect our um, nutrition also to a plant-based diet, you know, include that. I'm not saying only plants. I'm also saying like, hey, just consider this option, you know. So hear me out. People tend to run to the store and think and believe that everything they, they need, they can get there. But they're going to put themselves in a high risk if this, if more and more people start to get infected. So every time you go in there, it becomes a health hazard. Keep that in mind. So what are you gonna do about that? See now nature in a whole also as a type of a supermarket, but now there are no ingredients on the back of the package or whatever, you know? So you have to know what you're actually looking for. Thankfully in the 21st century, we invented something like a phone. So you actually can download apps make a picture of it, or I don't know what, make a video of it, and then it will provide you with some uh, useful information. And I would suggest everybody to do that because that's something that actually can really help you right now to avoid craziness. If you're a hunter, that's awesome. Go out, do your thing, you know? Uh, but of course, if you have like 10,000 hunters hunting on, <laughs> on the same area, that would fucking suck, you know? <laughs> killing each other maybe cannibalism is a solution here you know who knows might as well use that you know redirect your diet towards something useful consume the dead <laughs> all right that may be a little dark that's that is very dark i'm sorry <laughs> but hey it is why not keep up the spirit you know <laughs> these dire days keep a stoic mindset so by the way always try to focus or that's what i do at least i will not try to Tell anyone what to do or whatever. Everybody knows best for themselves, you know. Um, what I do for myself is um, accept the things that I cannot change. And if the sooner you accept them, the easier it is to cope with that situation. So you're able to adapt easily. But if you start to get stressed out, and that's what I mean, like with uh, being reliant only on hardware. So if you rely all your, everything you have is based on hardware, you will have, a, first of all, a ton of gear that you have to carry. And you're relying everything only based on that. So if everything is gone, you don't know anything. So that sucks in a way. So adapt, adaptation. I think that's very good, basically. So back to the nettle. So while I was in the forest, I saw this plant that just grows everywhere. And it's very small because it's not grown up. It's still spring, but it starts. I saw the little stinging nettle sticking out. And I was like, oh, how cute, you know, the little stinging nettle. So I Pick one and you just take the top, the top leaves and you crunch them up and eat it because it will still grow, you know, it doesn't really matter. And um, leave the root intact. Maybe you take a few young leaves and eat that and it provides 
basically uh, um, not a decent amount but I mean in comparison from the weight that you eat would you have to eat a ton to actually get a lot but it provides you with basic nutrition and I think it's very good if you're walking and you see things that you can basically eat that will provide you with something instead of actually wasting energy looking for game to shoot you know because you're wasting like hours and hours and hours of concentrating 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 and then finally something boom and you and you shoot it and you're like yay oh fuck miss you know and that sucks you know so first of all you need a gun second of all you need a huge amount of skill set to actually know how to uh, dissect that or not really dissect how you call it like take apart the whole animal and not to impale the bladder while you're fucking doing the whole thing you know while gutting it so you got to know a lot of shit and uh, I've done it a few times until now and it, it's complicated you know it's nothing easy and you also have to kind of have the gut for it not everybody's made up for that you know so uh, it is a, a bloody process it really is so apart from this part i would consider thinking out of the box in a way of knowing the greens that will grow because just think about it these plants will grow without you having to provide energy into it you don't have to go up and put water over it you don't have to go and look for an animal to shoot you just can walk by pick it move on you know and that's what you can do if you have like a, a cotton bag or something you know that's something i have with me all the time for these kind of things you know just in case throw it in and if if someone will call me out for like ah oh, that's that's shit that vegans do or vegetarians i'm like hey man i adapt i don't give a shit because this is not a name attached to something that provides me with nutrition i don't care if it's a vegan or or a vegetarian it's something that i would consider being good so it provides me with the basic uh, nutrition that i need to to come by and i will avoid fucking supermarkets so i'm starting to like rethink this i'm I, well trying to get my head around this idea i'll start reading more about plants also what they can do like how to provide me with some kind of health benefits like if i get a cut or whatever there are a ton of plants that know a ton of shit so that's what i try to do now live a plant life also <laughs> so think outside of the box that is like basically the the idea also behind it. Oh, some facts that I wanted to say. What this nettle has. Vitamin A, B, K. Minerals, very interesting. Calcium, iron, magnesium, potassium, phosphor, and sodium. There's so much more, but I just wrote down that and I thought it's fucking incredible. You know, just that little plant. And you walk by every day and you can just pick it up and you get that basic nutrition out of it. It's, it's awesome. You know, you can eat it raw, basically the points. I did that before today. So, um, yeah, I think that's what I wanted to talk about today. The plant world, plant-based diet when it comes to a situation like this. Yeah, of course, you know, when you go, when you go for a hunt, you can also include this now, you know, so you don't come home empty handed, you know, of course, everybody knows basic berries or whatever, but Hey, actually studying other plants that you see and some of them are really really tasty so you might as well just consider that option as well instead of being so stubborn and being like no I don't eat that game vegans only eat that I'm a man and I need bloody meat red beef yeah it's like yeah go and find a fucking cow in the forest you know <laughs> and shoot a deer and what if you don't have a gun what are you gonna do take a slingshot make a slingshot and shoot that what are you gonna make the slingshot with you know uh, the rubbers you don't have that what else you know <laughs> I, I don't try to be mean, be mean, but you know, I had some very interesting conversations with uh, some preppers as from the area and the amount of ignorance based on, I don't know, like just this stubborn mindset. I'm like, God damn, you, you, you got to be able to adapt, you know, like hey, if survival mode is in, who gives a fuck what you can eat as long as your whole body keeps on going. I mean, just check out Bear Grylls, the guy just, I don't know if he does it for fun. I mean, he literally walks by so many awesome plants you could eat. And he decides to eat some fucking huge, I don't know, carcasses or poop from a bear. You know, it's like, good job. I mean, he does the trick, of course, but you know, you just walk by, I think it was 73 plants you could have just eaten and it would have been done. You know, the whole thing would have been just okay. But uh, that's maybe just me thinking a little... Uh, from an alternative perspective. And that's what I try to do with everything. 
You know, just try to change your perspective how you see things, just like judging something. You know, this situation is dire, but change your perspective on it. You know, see it as an option to maybe uh, study more, study more plants. It's like a pause button has been pressed in our society. You know, like our society is right now on pause, full stop, pause, because the whole markets are crashing at the moment. Well, what I heard a few days ago, I, I don't follow news anymore because I just thought it's going down anyways. Might as well start doing something else to work against it because everybody's just reading. Oh, my God. News, 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 stress, 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 stress. Ah, and <laughs> I just decided not to follow that path and um, provide myself with uh, some good information when it comes to plants or whatever. So yeah, I thought I'd share that. So maybe I'd inspire one or two or maybe three people to uh, reconsider options for of only getting hardware, but also getting, I will not call it software, but for the matter of speech, let's say, say software, you got hardware and you also need to train your software because your mind you can literally take everywhere. They can strip you naked. You can run around naked as long as you got everything up here. So yes, that's all I wanted to say. Thank you very much for training and uh, keep your throat moist. Something I would also consider being very important. A variety of teas throughout the day does the trick. Yeah, I will also try to dive into the depth of ginger and its options but it's very controversial i find a lot of things that this website says a lot of that and the other website says like very confusing but also very good yes thank you very much everyone and uh hope you enjoyed my video take care and uh see you soon